talking about marketing, market access and trade, and it's a huge portfolio that you work in, Stephen, but what does this really mean for producers on the ground every day on farm? Yeah, and I suppose that's always been an issue where producers do not um, see or feel a direct link to the marketing of their product. Uh, Yet a lot of what they do directly affects our ability to trade and and our market access uh, for sheep meat. Um, So the things that they they must do, obviously, uh, pay strict attention to the export slaughter intervals and, and withholding periods of the chemicals they use. That's, I suppose that's, um, that's square one, making sure that we don't put out any of our markets at risk because of our on-farm practices. But they also should fully engage with the live production assurance process, with that, uh, and the, which is the MLA accreditation process for their property identification um, code. It's, it's really important that that is um, seen as a valuable part of the process. This is what we've committed uh, with our trading partners to do to make sure that um, we have welfare standards, biosecurity standards that meet the expectations of our trading partners. Um, we do place some extra, reg, um, extra requirements on producers now, um, but the, res- the, re- the reasoning behind that is to increase that market access. The, obviously, the more markets you have access to, then the more options you have to send a greater number of products. One carcass could go to 30 different countries. We have access to almost 90 countries. So you've got to uh, appreciate that the what best way of maximising the, the uh, value of that carcass is to have the most number of um, different parts going to different sections of the world who are willing to pay the most for whatever small part of that carcass uh, they require. So just by doing that MLA accreditation process and putting in place what is required under the LPA system, um, that's one of the best things that they can do. The other thing that they can do is utilise industry feedback. Um, there's not only the National Sheep Health Monitoring Program, which gives them uh, obviously very good uh, feedback on disease and how they can be more productive, but also the carcass feedback systems are improving all the time from processes. Um, this is obviously going to Im- increase a lot with the more and more uh, amount of direct marketing producers do with processes. And with if you've got electronic tracing, then they, they can actually give individual carcass feedback. That feedback's vital. If they want to hit specifications for a specific market, which is paying more for your product, um, then that not only allows those brand owners to better promote their product and have a more consistent supply, but it also allows that that um, producer to gain a premium. Obviously, if there's no premium, there's no point in doing it. So I'm not. Um, I wouldn't be uh, saying that anyone gets involved in a system where there's no benefit to them just just because the system's there doesn't mean you have to use it. But if people are willing to pay that premium. That's for a reason. If you're producing for a specific brand uh, and then uh, all parts of that supply chain will benefit because someone's willing to pay more at the end of the line. So that's probably the main uh, reasons why producers should take serious note of how how the product is marketed and where they tap into that. 